I mean, Broodmother, I saw, so okay, maybe one of the best in the world. They've got some nice lockdown. They've got this Morphling last pick. Oh, man. And just let the Pugna do the solo. Yep, and look at that invoke already. The double null going for the phase boots. And there it is. He's going to go down. Undying first blood. And look at this. I Middle lane as well. The Morphling sitting at super low HP. This Bloodseeker might just have a crazy game if they keep this up. But a nice game sense there from Abed just backs out. No something's gonna come, but man, MP again kills this Pugnun. Blade Mail game for Bloodseeker. Ooh, here we go. They're gonna look for MP here. The blast coming out. A ton of damage being done. One right click. Will the zombie be enough? The zombie's no trying to smack him down. The zombies. Yes, they will finally bring him down. But now they're turning jabs there as well. Sunstrike is going to hit. Oh my goodness, he barely survived. X mark spot there. Nope. Invoker is here. Gets the right click. And now jabs goes down. Abed actually in a little bit of trouble. I think the decay actually missed there the meteor is gonna fly down and now the life drain comes out but abed so far i'm just gonna turn it around silence hits on one see you later undying gets right click down and that's just because abed's so farmed right there is he fine just staying bottom farm? i mean i think everything is going well for them when it comes to the laning phase so there's no reason to change it right like ice 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 is winning top lane now thanks to, to dj like doesn't look like you will get him there. Nice play there by the Pugnant. You don't need to change anything. Yeah. Admiral is the True. one who are incentivized to try and group heroes up into lanes, see if they can offset. Oh, what a good oh, combo. Misses the Sun Strike, unfortunately, but it still looks like they will get the kill. MP waiting. Gets X back. He is still alive. Gets torn to the end of the air. Now MP's in a lot of trouble. Oh my goodness. A little mistake there by Ava. The risk doesn't really give you anything. Yeah. No, here we go. The boat is going to come in. Torrent. Oh. Oh, oh he misses, misses the it. X combo. And that. Probably would have been a kill. Now they're gonna roll in. This guy, he's just gonna die. Gets brought down by DJ and all oh, the winner's curse is just gonna hold him in place. Abed coming over level 12, Alacrity. He doesn't even have to use any other spells. Just right click him down. And there's gonna be Solrip will help him survive a little bit longer, but Abed picks up another kill. But they're so far ahead, they can do it. Especially versus the Pugna. Ooh, the roll is gonna end up missing. Tries to go past. Abed's keeping in if they can get a stun on anyone, but they haven't yet. Oh, but the rupture hits. He's gonna try to TV. Nope, Tornado will hit, and this is gonna be a kill on the Pugna. Will he be able to find more? Not the worst for Admiral, but this top again, like you said, they're chipping this tower. Bensoy can try to go on Ice Ice Ice. Here comes the Morphling. They're going to be able to get him again. Oh, but the Brutlings will bring the Kunkka down. And now, oh, the Sunstrike actually ends up missing. I don't think it'll be enough to save him, though. Deafening Blast doing some damage. The Boulder Kick plus the Silence will end up getting the kill. Uh, ooh, we are going to see Roll. He is going to get the kick. Gets the Silence. He is going to be decrypt. Silence Flap again. It does. Oh, and the Tornado should be enough to kill him. No, he's still running away. Will go down, though. DJ is going to get bugs on him. They should be able to bring him down. Everyone else is going to try to run. Will get healed up by the Cold Embrace, but MP just right-clicking that Weaver. It's a little 14 versus 12, but he doesn't care. Maelstrom Weaver doing a ton of damage. And I've got to say something. I don't think I have... I have not seen anyone take that Weaver Tell in a while. The plus 75 Sakuchi damage over Mana Break. Oh, yeah. Yules from Abed will dodge that. He is just going to Ghost Block, but they do have the Dust. Nice job bringing that. Will it be enough to bring him down? They're trying X Mark Spot, bringing him back. Deafening Blast goes for the triple, hits zero instead. That is a massive pickoff. 500 gold for the Morphling as well. He's the one who picked up the kills. So that is fantastic for Admiral. And you look at this, Weaver's, Weaver is the top net worth. We haven't really talked much about him, but he did decently. And now look at this, he gets a kill on Jab pretty quick, but I'm pretty sure they want to end this game in probably the next 10, 15 minutes here. They're going to run in. Boomy in a lot of trouble. Here comes the rum. Needs to get on. Will finally ice, 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 chase around. Bensoy actually dies to Abed. They're going to continue right clicking. Boomy trying to run away. Ice, ice, ice doesn't have a web or he's not going to use it there. He will finally will. No, the defusal there. Will end up getting, does get soul rip, but won't matter. And Unfortunately, that one death, right? He's getting picked off opens so much for Fnatic. Yeah, he's top net worth, but he's actually going to fall behind two heroes here. And oh, the Sunstrike. Oh, wow. my goodness. They get it. The Silence not allowing him to morph. And at the last second, just gets the kill. Now they're going to move up. Alacrity actually on him. Oh, but the Ancient holds him in place and actually saves the saves his life right there. Now they are going to find this Pugna, though. He is out in no man's left. They don't have any detection, I don't believe, though. MP get a run, though. He's going to be able to. And there's going to be a rupture up. Now, in comes the Weaver, the one man who can do damage. He's just trying to right-click with the BKB. Either the Maelstrom doesn't actually do that much damage. Can he get frozen there? Help to get healed up. And there's the Cold Embrace. Can help attack each other. Sunstrike is going to fly. Hits on his Weaver. Jabs trying to. MP just slaughtering the back lines. Can continue to chase Weaver. Should get out. And oh no. The Undying. Well, we're going to have another death here. Picked up by MP.
they would be able to still play the, this exact same way because of the, the just massive long-range catch that they have between these two supports. And right as you say it, the long-range catch there by DJ and Abed. You got tornadoes, you got rolling boulders, and you have a lot of spiders going into this base as well as an alacrity brute. They want to get this tier three. They do bring it down. And look at that. Oh, the, the, the broodlings versus the Pugna War does not feel very good <laughs> at all. They are going to try to, ooh, rupture will fly on Pugna. So they know he can't really get in range to do anything right now. They want to take this melee, but they won't get it. Undying will pop ulti, scare them all away. You need to force them to do one or the other. You just can't get shut inside your base by this team. By the way, the Blood Rage plus Alacrity Catapult. That guy <laughs> is probably doing more damage than most of them. Oh no, this Morphling. Is he get a solo kill? No, does get solar. Help save him, but now they're all in a bad position. Easy double kill on two of the cores. Instant buyback. And this is feeling pretty much, like you just said, right? They got more than one pickoff, and now they can pretty much just take the base, but more buybacks are going to come. Ice 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 takes the top range barracks as well during that. These lanes out. Fnatic just need to be able to keep Ooh. all three lanes in. Oh, that's the worst guy they could find unless they can bring him down, but Jabs gets the Glimmer K-pop. MP is going to pop the BKB. We're going to see Tombstone go down. No winner's curse yet, and it's just chaos right now in the middle. Is going to be nullified in the middle as the Kunkka does get the ulti. Double Tornado. What's he going to do? Here comes the Cataclysm. MP actually dies. Godlike streak done. Weaver's still alive trying to run away and right now Fnatic's only gonna find the undying it seems like Weaver moving forward wants to get more but Abed he's dancing on him in the back lines misses the dust on him and Abed gets the double Allison as well though DJ gets the kick it actually misses but here comes Ice 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 and oh no the silence is up Alacrity Brood and see you later that is a no buyback morphling Abed is taking a ton of damage going out from this Weaver but it's not enough he doesn't have buyback as well and I have a feeling if this guy goes down right here, our boy Kunkka, it might just be game. We might see the Gs drop. And just gonna kick him back into his team. <laughs> Abed getting healed. They're toying with him right now. And the triple kill comes out. Are you gonna be able to keep this game going on That's any longer? So they're gonna call it. Uh, you know, that fight was actually a decent showing from them. IOAA doesn't seem like the strongest like support duo, but here's the big thing. He's gonna have to fly out some more regen because this is a full everything puck, but MP, one more auto attack. Oh, the fairy fire from DJ, ton of heal there. And they're gonna turn around and get a lot of damage on this It's not a kill. Is that enough? They just oh. need to be able to get the vision of him. They need it, does he have balls up? No, not for 15 now. Instead, they're gonna go for the vengeance. That would be even, even better kill. Stun is gonna fly out. They might find neither of them though. Nice dodge by the Lich there. This guy's I'm not here. sure if Lich has the mana. He's suiciding the tier one. Ah, smart, nice, nice. That's that's Ooh, the, the excellent play for the Lich to be gone for that long. It is, it is a little bit weird suiciding the Lich, but they are gonna find jabs here, and this should be a kill. You do see him just battery sold and right click flying from the Necro. That is the one good thing. Uh, Clockwork versus AA, probably like his favorite like support versus support map. Uh, and that'll be when Fnatic either dominate the game and look to close it out, or Admiral just kind of like weather the storm. And that is a nice one. Not only do they get the kill on DJ, he gets the haste ring. Oh, so I saw it in use. And well, Rocket is going to fly out on the Lich. Slow will come. Centaur is going to ulti for bottom, but it looks like they might get it. Ooh, the Chain Frost goes down. He will make it away. And uh-oh, a Blast is going to fly, and this Lich is going to go down. There's the Blast, and uh-oh, Abed's down here. The Venge will die to the Coil Snap. Man, just throws that wave terror, but look at that move speed. Too much. Oh, wait, wait. He actually slows down right there. Got to be careful. No hook shot from the Clockwork, and the orbs will hit. They kill the rock, but look who's here at top, and he's getting the double quill. They instantly die, and the AA is not going to hit, but it will go over him, so they have enough damage. They can definitely get it. He's going to go for it. Oh, they're going to TP in. Well, no, just DJ. Hello. Orb will fly out. Fairy Fire does get popped. He's just running, but will finally get taken down, and MP actually gets the kill. He's happy about that, except the loss there, but instead they lose all three heroes, and now Abed, he's toying with the MP, gets the kill bottom. Looks like they're going for more. Will they find this Venge? Will they find this Necro? Looks like MP, no. He's going to end up going down. That's going to be a long death. AA Blast going to fly. In. Ooh, hits on both of them. Gets a kill. Do they have any stuns up? Don't need it. Hits him with the double edge and just destroys him. A third? Yeah. That's the thing. Skill that Fnatic had for that. Yeah. Ooh, it is going to be. This is a giant rune fight. Stun is going to fly out. The IO will be on the gyro. Will the gyro drop quick enough? Swap back in. MP still alive, but the... Heather's broken because of a nice swap, and now Ice 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 in a little bit of trouble, but Abed instantly... Oh, look at this Abed! In. Oh my goodness, and Abed blows them all up, the Ice Vortex there, and now they're going to try to chase them. Popped ulti, and I believe you just overextended once more, and 
Well, I think Kyle said it the best. Ice Vortex plus Puck equals a lot of damage. Holy yeah. smokes. <laughs> kind of uh, carrying where he's just sitting back and farming quite a lot. And maybe it is to their detriment. I don't know. Oh, on the backside, Ice 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 is going to find what it is going to be the clockwork. His ult to use. Chain Frost going to fly in, but it will bounce once only over to Jabs. They want to bring on this necro, but he gets the Ghost Shroud off. And they're going to back out. Here comes Allison now, wants to join the fight. They ping him out. They know he's here. We'll see if they just want to get back. Do they want to go back in? He gets the stun. There comes the AA Blast. Guess what? You're not going to heal yourself, my friend. But that's a full Dagon gone. Courier does die. Items. Jabs is playing the, the hard five. Ooh, he gets the ghost shot off again. AA Blast gonna fly in. Won't be able to get healed. Reaper Scythe will just slow down MP. That's about it. See you later, Necro. Stun's gonna fly out, and this bench is just locked down in place. Same with the Clockwork. They blow him up. Clockwork, I believe you are in the wrong position. Boomy is gonna go down here as well. He's trying to kite around. Gets the hook out. He's going for MP, but won't be able to find him. Abed, unstoppable. Who is there going to over-rotate heroes for one of these kills? Yeah, it is. Gyron a little bit trouble, but the BKB gets popped. He has it nice and early on the backside. Ice, ice, ice is here. Chain Frost just bouncing around to the creeps. The Lich should be the first one to drop. Will MP takes him down. Oh, Venge goes down as well, and that BKB is so nice, and ooh, hits it. Do they have a stun? They do. Ice, ice, ice with the blink over. Every single time, of course, shows up, it's dead. Yeah, look at there, again, Rocket hits, Ice Ice Ice, gets the stomp, gets the kill. And man, it, Admiral was winning this from like the 1 to 10 minute mark, and then yep. that, that it was that overextension twice bottom right, by the tier 1, and then that 5 man, or the 4 man coil, Ice yeah. Vortex. Wow, and Fnatic, I mean, it, Level 15 talent for the Ooh, Not now. again, A Blast. Oh, will help, actually, he might just get himself killed here. He's gonna get them both killed, and well, see you later, Venge. See you later, Clockwork. And well, possibly see you later on his Necro. Yep, he goes down as well. It is gonna be all buybacks except from the Necro. Allison's gonna move in. He has the Flat Cannon doing a ton of damage, a BKB of his own, but no one's dying of most of these heroes. Oh, but they find him. The Clockwork did get spotted in the trees. There comes the ulti from Gyro Rocket. Is gonna hit up on the Necro. They haven't committed too much because of that Flat Cannon, but Abed on the backside is killing him. He misses the hook shot. Nice dodge by Abed. MP just chasing heroes down in his gunship. DJ eating a lot of damage, but not as much as this Venge, and now they do find him again. Chain Frost will fly. Will it keep bouncing? No. Reaper Scythe not gonna do very much versus this Hood, and now frozen in place is the entire team good game played and well this uh, i think this was maybe the most dominating performance besides maybe the admiral boom id game and fanatic just honestly they look really good